Hello and welcome to GHHU 2901 Online Research for College Students. This is Lecture 2 in our 10-week series, and in this week we get to talk about social media and all of the very interesting things that are going on in that space. But before we get too far, let's give ourselves a little bit of a pat on the back. We made it through week one. I want to just say this is one of the first semesters that I'm using discussion boards in the class and I really enjoyed getting to know all of you. Uh, I think everyone has a very interesting backstory and I think this course will really fit into your educational journey no matter where you are in that uh, spectrum. So right on, uh, I'm, I'm loving the engagement so far. Uh, let's make sure to keep it up because the week to come, you'll see on the next slide, should have a lot of engagement and maybe not so much of the um, taking a quiz and paying really close attention to the lectures. It should be more discussion based. Um, just to recap from last week, a couple things that you really need to do to be successful in this class and really any class uh, is read the syllabus. Uh, make sure that you're keeping a calendar, that you're making notes on when things are due and when they're not that you're getting into the rhythm and the flow of kind of what's going on in college. Uh, particular to this class, information literacy is a vital skill. You know, you should really care about the information that you consume and the impact that it can have on you. Uh, you should know where to find information, uh, what to do with it, how to share it, all sorts of things that are relating to information literacy that we will go over throughout the whole rest of the course. Uh, the librarians are always here to help you. You know, the library website, the library.highlands.edu, uh, is a great resource for you in this class and any other class. You know, that's one of the secrets where if you're working on a works cited page and you're not 100% sure about uh, where does that period go or do you use 1P or 2Ps or any of that, ask one of the librarians to take a look at it. They're very good. They'll, at, at a minimum, point you to the resource that you need and like the specific page number. Uh, some of them will go so far as to help you write the same or write the correct citation. Uh, use them. Great resource for you. Uh, so this week, this is our video week. Uh, you have a choice of two videos to watch. Uh, the first is The Social Dilemma and that is on Netflix. Uh, however, not everyone has a Netflix subscription, and I don't think it's fair to require you to have one either. So uh, in that vein, I went and I found, uh, I think, a pretty good lecture uh, from the director of The Social Dilemma talking about a lot of the same issues, just in a slightly different format. Uh, the links to both of these videos are online in our D2L class, uh, and they're pretty clearly marked right underneath this video. So you've got to watch one of these two videos. Uh, they cover very similar things, so you probably don't need to watch both of them. And then you've got to write your discussion board post. Uh, this is very much just like the discussion board post we did in week one, where you have to answer some of the questions, and then you need to respond to at least one of your classmates. Uh, I've put a response in there so you can see what a sample response would look like. Uh, some of the things in this week can touch on sensitive topics. So, um, you know, we're going to talk about social media and the sharing of information and how some of that information can be false. Uh, these can be political issues. So I'm asking as you engage in these discussions, keep it simple, be kind, and discuss the topics at hand. Um, don't go too far in, into the dark place. Um, that said, I'm here, you know, I'm moderating the discussions, I will see them, uh, so that should all be fine. Um, and I'm hoping that this is one of the weeks that you're really going to engage in the class. You know, you have that minimum requirement of doing one reply to your peers. However, that doesn't say you can't reply to several peers, and that doesn't mean that you can't have actual discussions. You know, discussion boards should not just be, oh, that's interesting, thanks. You know, you should really be discussing the things about how they apply to your life, your work, your school, uh, and then, you know, share things with, with your peers. So um, that's it. That's our discussion board post. That's my little spiel. Um, this week's lecture, super short. We're relying on the videos and the discussion boards 
I'll be in there. I'll be responding to you. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send me an email. Uh, it's all over my. Uh, it's all over the class. My email is j f l e s c h n at highlands.edu. And there is our cat meme. Uh, can the red dot ever be caught? No, kitty. No, it can't ever be caught. Um, all right, folks. Thank you, and I look forward to talking with you in the discussion boards. Thanks.